Hey there, welcome to Gemini Toys. Here we are once again, literally once again, this event. This time it's in Nagoya though. They just started this event recently and it's going all the way until September 27th. This is the Toy Sapiens DC All-Stars event. I previously shot this event in Tokyo, two times actually. Uh, if you wanna check those out, I will link those up. But this time it's just slightly different. Uh, you can see there in the end, there's, you can see uh, there's a whole bunch of hot toys, a whole variety of hot toys. I'm making a separate video of that, so stay tuned to that. And uh, as you enter on the side here, I don't remember this one in Tokyo. This was, this is the uh, Man of Steel Superman or Justice League uh, Superman, Henry Cavill. And it's quite an amazing looking statue. I really like uh, the head sculpt on this. As you can see, the likeness, the likeness is really good. Um, I can't be a statue collector because of course I don't have the space but very impressive piece nonetheless real real nice they also have a Wonder Woman one this one they did have it in Tokyo so um, there is that and uh, once again likeness is uh, real nice she's a little bit more pale than I think she really is but nice statue very nice touch. And uh, you can see the, at the entrance they have a display of the figures of Two-Face and this uh, the Batman figure from the Arkham game, Arkham Knight. And uh, these are the figures they have for sale, those two, as well as the one uh, Hall of Armor set some box art magnets, plushies, just like last time. Pretty much the same deal. And uh, got the pops, <laughs> I don't really care for those. Um, but here, here you have the some keychains. I did pick that one in the middle you see there from Batman vs Superman. I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, I don't usually go much for these cute items, but I thought that was nice. And I love Batman vs Superman, so. I picked that up and upstairs we have uh, just like in Tokyo uh, the these these cars the Batmobiles I'm not sure exactly the scale but uh, they're fairly small and uh, yeah you have you even have there the Joker mobile and the Harley Queen mobile perhaps but uh, yeah this event is going until uh, September 27th, as I said, and this is where I live, the city of Nagoya, so I'm thinking to pick up that one Batman, that's why I zoomed into the, the original 1989 one. Might go back there and pick that up. And there you can see uh, the only figure available, as far as I know, of the Golden Armor uh, Wonder Woman, until Hot Toys finally releases it. And here I'm showing real quickly the Hot Toys. Uh, once again, I have shown all these figures at the Tokyo event. In fact, they actually had more in display over there. But nonetheless, still nice to see these locally here. They've changed a little bit the poses. I'm, I'm still tempted to get that flash. I kind of like them holding that uh, battering there. They had uh, Aquaman. They had, they had that figure available you could uh, for purchase. And uh, I still love this figure. Yep, Justice League Superman. And there's the prototype, wingless prototype, but with a new head sculpt and the new armor. Previously at the Tokyo event, uh, she had the old head sculpt and the old, more shiny, glossy armor. It's all plastic, but it looks pretty good, I think. Here we have the Harley Quinn figures, all three of them. I'm actually making a separate video of just the Harley Quinn figures because I think it's kind of cool to have them all together, including this one here. Um, just as a separate fun video to make. And uh, yeah, that's the Suicide, Suicide Squad. And here we have Batgirl. Don't care very much for that one. And uh, yeah, that's a really cool figure. Actually, the Arkham Knight Batman looks really cool. And there's that prototype, uh, Harley Quinn. There is a 4K video on that. Check it out if you haven't. And uh, yeah, that Joker from the video game is really cool too. And here we have, yeah, this, I guess you could call these work of art. <laughs> 
they're made by uh, famous people here in Japan who I think designed uh, and there's kind of a story there you can see it, it's all written in Japanese uh, behind the creation of this uh, pimp Batman for example not very fond of that I do like that one Batman Returns kind of it's called Galaxy that one I thought was uh, pretty cool but most of these are, these are pretty bizarre and um, yeah I guess you could call them works of art but then you know a lot of people splash just two buckets of paint on the wall and call it art so some of them are interesting some not so interesting this this one is kind of cool the kabuki one again that's the batman returns uh, yeah, and this one is from the game <laughs> very bizarre and speaking of bizarre uh, a little neat nonetheless and it's it's definitely flashy very very flashy and I had to zoom into this guy because uh, he's got that commanding presence you know so uh, a lot of glitter and he's got his glasses in gold yep not sure exactly the concept or the idea behind it but interesting and here you have the costumes, original costumes. I have that on, this, on the, my Tokyo version of the video, so I didn't spend much time on that. And here are these statues again. I really like these statues. They're very cool. Full-size, one-to-one statue. Is that what you call it, one-to-one? One, one by one scale. Life-size, real nice. And once again, I love Batman vs. Superman, so, you know, this is pretty much the... This is a nice representation of that movie. Real nice statue. Not sure if they had one in to that one in Tokyo either. I know the one Batman they did, but not the armored Batman. So, with that said, I just kind of wanted to do my version of my local Toy Sapiens of this same event once again. And um, hope you enjoyed that. I uh, got plenty of content coming up, so stay tuned to the channel. So with that said, like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the path of collecting, and I'll catch you guys next time.